Hey everyone, welcome to Graybeard's Jewels. Today we bring you 10 fun facts about Indiana. If you enjoy today's video, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Without further ado, here we go. Number 1. The first Indianapolis 500 took place in 1911. Ray Heron won this race with an average speed of 74.602 miles per hour and took home the first place prize of $14,250. Part of his winning strategy was the use of a rear view mirror in place of a ride along mechanic to see when cars were going to pass, thereby making his vehicle a little bit lighter. Things have come a long way since then. Today, the record height speed is 187.433 miles per hour set by Tony Kanan in 2013, and a record high winning prize of $3,048,005 taken home by Helio Castronavis in 2009. Number 2. World War II fighter planes were built in Evansville. Republic Aviation built the P-47 Thunderbolt from 1942 to 1945. The heavily armored plane made its combat debut in 1943 and was equipped with four 50 caliber machine guns in each wing, could hold 3,400 rounds of ammunition, and had a bomb load capacity of 3,000 pounds. Fully loaded, this war beast weighed about 8 tons and was one of the heaviest fighter planes used during the war. While it was a bit bulky for fast-turning dogfights, it did quite well diving in on enemy planes with guns ablazing. Number 3. Crawfordsville is home to the Rotary Jail Museum. Located in the old Montgomery County Jail, the only one of the original 18 built that can still be rotated. This type of jail featured wedge-shaped cells that rotated around a central core and were surrounded by a heavy iron cage with a single opening, allowing for access to only one cell at a time. The jailer could rotate the cells using a hand crank system. While meant to limit contact between jailer and inmate, the design proved to be rather dangerous, with prisoners sometimes getting their limbs crushed or purposely interfering with the cell's rotation. Number 4. The French were the first non-Native American settlers to Indiana. Fort Wyatnon was the first fortified settlement on the Wabash River. Fort Miami was a fortified trading post in the Miami Indian village of Kikianga where the St. Joseph and St. Mary's Rivers merged to form the Maumee River near the Ohio border. And Fort Vincennes was an outpost meant to secure the lower Wabash Valley for the French. The forts operated trading posts supplying Native Americans with goods in the aims of gaining an ally in their fight against British encroachment. Unfortunately, the original forts have been lost to time. Number 5. Fort Wayne was the gas pump manufacturing capital of the world. Sylvanus so F. Bowser had patented a kerosene pump in 1885, which he modified to pump gasoline when the automobile industry began to take off. The first pumps were operated by a clerk, and the gasoline was measured at one gallon per pump of the lever. Innovations such as adding a hose to the pump and a clock face type dial to more accurately measure the fuel led to improved safety and efficiency. With Bowser's success, other manufacturers came to the area as well, including Tokai Manufacturing Company and Wayne Oil and Tank Company. Number 6. Indianapolis grocer Gilbert Van Camp was an early supplier of canned goods. In 1861, he and his wife Hester began canning fruits and vegetables for their customers to enjoy during the winter. By chance, Hester decided to add tomato sauce to an old family recipe for pork and beans, and they loved the result, and thought the rest of the world would too. And the American staple, Van Camp's Pork and Beans in Tomato Sauce was born. Today, the Van Camp's brand is owned by Conagra, and they only offer bean-based products, with the exception of chili without beans. Number 7. East Race Waterway in downtown South Bend is the first man-made whitewater raceway in North America. The waterway was originally built as part of a hydropower plant used to supply area businesses, but eventually the plant became obsolete and the waterway was filled in. During the 70s, the area needed a boost, so as part of the revitalization, they decided to bring the waterway back, but with a twist. The Whitewater Course was opened in 1984 and originally used by competitive kayakers, 
but it's now open to the public and you can even rent rafting equipment there. Number 8. The Studebaker Company of South Bend was once the nation's largest producer of horse-drawn vehicles. Their wagons and carriages were well known for their quality and durability, and they even procured a deal to supply the U.S. Army throughout the Civil War. As such, their product and name were well known throughout the nation, and the sales skyrocketed to over $2 million by 1887. The brothers expanded to the car market in 1902 with an electric model. Then, in 1904, they produced their first gasoline-powered model. Much like their wagons and carriages, their automobiles were a huge success and grew into multi-million dollar businesses as well. Number 9. Madam C.J. Walker built her manufacturing company in Indianapolis. Born Sarah Breedlove, Madam Walker's early life wasn't easy. But through sheer determination and hard work, she became the first self-made African-American female millionaire in the United States. Inspired by her own hair loss due to a scalp condition, she developed a line of hair care products for African-American women, ambitiously selling her products door-to-door. -door. She gained a loyal following among her customers, due in large part to her personal approach with her clients. She is well known for her philanthropical endeavors to improve the lives of African American women. Number 10. James Dean, the iconic movie star from the 50s, was born in Marion, Indiana on February 8, 1931. Some say he was the male counterpart to Marilyn Monroe, as both were rising stars taken from the earth way too soon. Prior to his tragic death in an automobile accident at the age of 24, he only had the chance to star in three major movies, East of Eden, Rebel Without a Cause, and Giant. The latter were released after his death, and both earned him posthumous Academy Award nominations. To this day, he is the only actor to have that honor. In closing, we hope you enjoyed today's video. If so, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for future topics. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.